Good morning, Chargers. I'm Juliana. I'm Liliana, and welcome to our last WRSN of 2020. With the end of Hanukkah today and Christmas next week, we continue to get into the holiday spirit. Here's Amanda, who interviewed some students about what their favorite holiday traditions slash decorations are. For Christmas traditions, I would like to share first. Every year, I start putting up Christmas decorations during Thanksgiving week. While I do most of the work, my sisters and mom help with the lights and ornaments. On Christmas morning, we like to go to IHOP, and during that day or week, we go to our favorite Chinese restaurant, Tokyo Peking. In my family, we put up blue and white decorations because half of my family celebrates Hanukkah and the other half celebrates Christmas. So we combine both holidays every year. So we still do the eight days of Hanukkah, but we also do Christmas morning. My family is very big on Christmas. So every year we go all out and decorate the entire house with a bunch of lights because it's my dad's favorite holiday. And we normally bake about 200 cookies and make a bunch of platters and trays and hand them out to friends and family. And one of our traditions that we always do is we always make cinnamon buns on Christmas morning. And we also go and watch the Palm Beach Boat Parade um, down at the docks and watch all the boats and fireworks. This is Amanda reporting for WRSN. Now back to the anchors. But today is World Arabic Language Day. Here is Juliana talking to some Arab charges about their heritage and learning some new words. So how many different Arabic dialects are there and which one do you speak? There are many Arabic dialects, but the one that I speak is Lebanese Arabic or just generic kind of Arabic. And it's mixed in with a little bit of French into it. Um, does every Arabic country have a different culture or are they the same? They're overall the same, maybe a little bit variance here and there, but uh, generally the same. Um, is there any other Arabic dialect that you would want to learn? I would say Egyptian Arabic because a good amount of my friends speak Egyptian Arabic and are from Egypt along with their families. Cool. Uh, what is your favorite thing about Arabic culture? I'd say my favorite thing about Arabic culture is when we're able to gather with family and kind of eat and feast together and share our memories that we've had. What are some Arabic traditions? Some Arabic traditions I'd say is when we do eat, like we have kind of like a feast. It's not like meals. It's just like one big kind of gathering of people. All right. Thank you. All right. No problem. Can't get enough for the holidays. We have Liliana going around showing us some festive activities you can still do while being safe. Around this time of year, the holiday spirit is alive in everyone. To help spread the festivity, people put up decorations all over their house and yard. So what better way to celebrate than to go around to different neighborhoods to see their Christmas lights? Going to Jupiter Heights is a great way to see the amount of effort people put into being festive. Each house is beautifully decorated and some streets even have an overall theme. Just take a slow drive down the road and marvel at the beautiful holiday lights. Another way to be festive is to go see Sandy the Sand Tree. In downtown West Palm Beach, Sandy is found putting on a show with dancing lights. She performs multiple songs, and the performance is sure to rock your world. 
Magnificently sculpted, visiting the sand tree and other sculptures in the area is a wonderful way to celebrate the holiday season here in Florida. something to do over winter break? How about watching a movie? Here we have Alina telling us about Wonder Woman 1984. This Christmas, December 25th, is also the release date of Wonder Woman 1984, the highly anticipated sequel to 2017's Wonder Woman film. The movie was originally set to be released on June 5th, but was then pushed back to August 14th because of COVID, then October 2nd, and finally, December 25th, where it'll release both in theaters and on HBO Max. The film will take place in 1984, which is a big time jump from the original, which was set during World War I, and focus on Diana fighting against Maxwell Lord and her longtime nemesis, Cheetah. It'll star Gal Gadot and Chris Pine, reprising their roles as Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor, as well as Kristen Wiig and Pedro Pascal as antagonists Cheetah and Maxwell Lord. In the meantime, be sure to watch the trailer and have a wonderful winter break. Reporting for WRSN, this has been Alina. We have two weeks off, so we have a lot of Charger birthdays. Happy birthday, Chargers! 2020 has been a long year. While not all of it has been good, it's nice to look back at the year and see how we made it through. Reviewing the good and the bad, we have Bella and Daisy talking to students about the highlights and lowlights of their year. As the crazy 2020 school year comes to an end, we wanted to ask the Chargers what they felt was their highlight and lowlight of this year. I would say that my highlight of 2020 was making the decision to move to Suncoast. And my low point was not being able to spend time with my friends in school like you normally can. My highlight of 2020 was starting my club sportsmanship across campus. And my low light was going into quarantine for five months. The highlight of my 2020 was hanging out with my friends. And the low light of my 2020 was probably getting hospitalized. My highlight of 2020 was getting to see my family over Thanksgiving, and my low light of 2020 was having to quarantine and not being able to see friends for a couple weeks. Uh, my highlight of 2020 was probably football season because I'm really grateful we got to have one with all the stuff going on, and my low light was just the pandemic. My highlight of 2020 was going to nationals with the competitive cheerleading team. My low light was definitely missing out on a lot of important events and trips because of the pandemic. One highlight of 2020 would have to be being able to spend a lot more time with my family over quarantine. And a low light of 2020 would be not being able to go to school and hang out with my friends as often. The best part of my year was going back to school. And the worst part of my year was hearing that school is over. That's all we have for you today, Chargers. Happy holidays and have a wonderful winter break.